Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux version 2022.4 on VirtualBox. For those that don't know VirtualBox, VirtualBox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer. So I can run Windows, Mac OS and many other operating systems on my host computer using VirtualBox. Now the first thing we have to do is download and install VirtualBox, so head to your Chrome browser and then search for VirtualBox. So you can see the first page over here, Oracle VM VirtualBox. Now click on it. And by the left, click on downloads. You can see over here. So click on downloads and it will take you to this page. Now you can see this is VirtualBox for Windows PC, which is Windows host. This is for Mac OS, for Linux and many other operating systems. So click on Windows host and it should start downloading. Now I already have this downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel it. Now, after downloading VirtualBox, we have to download the installation file for Kali Linux 2022.4. Now, open a new tab and then head to Kali.org or we can just search for Kali Linux. Now, you can see the first page over here, Kali Linux pen testing and all that, which heads to Kali.org. So, let's open it. Now, click on download and we are right here. Now there are two methods we can use to install Kali Linux. Now the first option is to go with the virtual machine which allows you to run Kali Linux directly. This is a pre-built virtual machine so all you have to do is extract the file and then add it to your virtual machine and that's all actually. So if you want to test Kali Linux or you want to just get it up and running immediately then you can go with this first option. But if you want to install Kali Linux from scratch allocate everything by yourself then you can go with the second option. Now I'm going to show both of these methods in this video, so you should see the timestamp on the screen. Now the first method is going with the pre-built version of Kali Linux for VirtualBox. So let's click on Virtual Machine on our screen over here. And it will take you down here and you can see this is VirtualBox, Kali Linux for VirtualBox 64 bit. Now click on it and it should start downloading. Now if you don't know if your PC is 32 bit or 64 bit, you can just go to the Start menu and then search for About PC. Click on about your PC and you are going to see under system type 64 bits or 32 bits. So let's close this. Now Kali Linux is downloading. I already have it downloaded so I'm just going to close it. Now let's close our browser. Now open your download folder and then double click on VirtualBox to install. I already have it installed but I'm just going to install again. That's just an update to it. So after installing you should have something like this. This is your VirtualBox. Now let's open our download folder and then locate the Kali Linux file we downloaded. You can see 2.67 gig. Now let's extract this file. Now to extract this file, you can use WinRAR or any file extractor you use. So I'm just going to use WinRAR to extract this file. Okay. This update was released today. It's now up to 12 hours. So this is actually the latest version of Kali Linux at the moment. successfully extracted now you can see a new folder created called kali linux 2022.4 now let's open the folder open the folder and you can see two files over here a file of 3 kilobytes and 13 gigabytes now just double click on the file of 3 kilobytes and it should add kali linux to your virtual box now you can see kali linux has been added to our virtual box now we have to make few changes to our machine so click on settings up here Go to display settings and then enable 3D acceleration down here. Now go to system and you can see this is the base memory which is the RAM. So by default it allocated 2 gigabytes of RAM to our virtual machine but we are going to increase that to let's say 4.5 gigabytes. Now you shouldn't allocate more than 40% of your RAM to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer. I have 16 gig RAM on my PC so I can run more than 6 gig to my virtual machine and everything should be okay. Now after doing that, go to the processor and then allocate the CPU because you want to allocate to your virtual machine. Now 3 should be okay for me since I can run up to 8 so it shouldn't be more than 40%. Now click on OK. So once we click on start, it should power on Kali Linux. So just hit enter. Now 
now you can see we are now on the login page that's how easy it is to add it to your virtual box now the username and password is Kali or in lowercase let's log in and here we go so basically this is how to install the previewed version of Kali Linux on your virtual box now you can use this for anything you can install packages update Kali Linux and do whatever you want to do with your virtual machine and also the storage allocated to Kali Linux on this machine is about 80 gigabytes and you can see the free space currently is 61 gigabytes this is because this is a pre-built version of Kali Linux which has already been installed so you don't need to pass through those tedious process of installing Kali Linux now you can change your username change your password customize your Kali Linux to whatever way you want to do if you want to change your username or password or make modifications to your Kali Linux check the description of this video I already made a video covering that now we are done with this installation so let me power off my machine then we will go with the second method of installing using the installer so now we are done with the first method which is installing with the pre-built image so this is our Kali Linux now we are going to go with the second method of installing with the installer so let's open our browser and then head back to the website kali.org now click on download now this time we are not going with virtual machines we are going with installer images so click on it and you can see this is the installer image you can see kali linux 2022.4 now click on the installer over here to get the complete offline installation with customizations so let's click on it and it should start downloading now this file is about 3.5 gigabytes i already downloaded it so i'm just gonna cancel it but make sure you download it so after downloading it you can close the browser now let's open our download folder so you can see this is kali linux installer which we downloaded now and this is an iso file you can see dot iso over here so let's open our virtual box and then create a new virtual machine so we'll click on new over here now let's call this kali linux 2022.4 now set the version over here to linux 2.6 3.x 4.x 64 bit make sure the type is set to linux now click on next so this is the hardware base memory which is the ram so i'm going to give this 5.9 gigabytes of my ram so you shouldn't give more than 40 percent of your ram to your virtual machine else it will slow down your computer you can see i have 16 gigabytes that's why i'm giving it 5.9 gigabytes and the processor same thing as well i'm going to give it three cpus and then click on next now this is the disk size which is our virtual storage so i'm going to give this about eight nine gigabytes now you need to give your machine enough space else you will encounter issues when running it so let's click on next and then click on finish so we've successfully created a new virtual machine now we have to make few changes here so click on settings up here now go to display and then increase the video memory to 128 megabytes enable 3d acceleration by clicking on this button down here now go to storage we have to add the iso file so under controller ide click on the empty disk and by the right click on this disk icon and then click on choose the disk file now this is where we have to select our kali linux iso file we downloaded so locate your download folder and then select the file you can see dot iso click on open and then click on ok so we've successfully added the installation file so once we click on start we should begin the installation so let's click on start now we're going with the graphical install so we just hit enter now choose the language you want to use for the installation and then continue select your location as well continue your keyboard format as well continue now the host name by default is set to kali we can continue with that unless you want to modify that continue let's leave the domain name field blank continue and then full name for this user so enter your name there And then continue a username for this account so i'm gonna add that continue 
Now choose the password. Confirm the password. Continue. Select your time zone as well. Continue. Now you can actually make changes to some of these things even after the installation. Now we are going with guided which is going to use the entire disk instead of setting up the partition by ourselves. So let's continue. And this is the disk so make sure it's selected and then continue. All files in one partition, yes continue, we don't want to separate the partitions. Finish partitioning and write changes to disk, continue. So you can see over here write changes to disk, let's select yes and then continue and it has started the installation. This may take some time but we just have to wait. Kali Linux 2022.4 comes with lots of new packages. Now we have to select the desktop environment. You can see Xface is the default desktop environment. This is GNOME and this is KDE but we are going to go with Xface which is normally the default environment and then continue. So we are almost done, we have to install Jira Bootloader to our primary drive so let's go with yes and then continue and then select the drive over here you can see it and then continue. Now you can see the installation is complete so we have to boot into our system. Now click on continue to restart. Now just hit enter. Now log in with your username and password. And here we go. So basically this is how to install Kali Linux version 2022.4 on your virtual box. Now this is a complete installation and everything is working properly. So you can do whatever you want to do. Make changes to your Kali Linux. If this video was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Now if you need any assistance with changing your password or adding a new user to Kali Linux or whatever at all, check the description of this video, I made lots of videos on that. And if you want to reach out to me, maybe you need help on anything concerning Kali Linux, you can join our discord server with the link in the description of this video and then send a message. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.